Howdy, how's it going? My name's Dabby Chappie, and today it's time to give my editor, Emma, another chance to catch me making a bad dragon reference, because Wizards of the Coast just dropped a new Unearthed Arcana, featuring two new subclasses revolving around your favorite fantasy. In this batch, the love for new material goes to the monk in the Way of the Ascendant Dragon, an elemental monk, no, not that one, attuned with the power of the worm, and the ranger in the Drake Warden, which is the most badass name I've ever heard, and it had better be good, because I want to play it just based on that. Hopefully, with this UA testing the waters for dragon-based adventurers, this might be a sign that Wizards is preparing to finally give us that dragon-themed source book, maybe with a blow-up poster inside? Anyway, as always, keep in mind as I review this article that the majority of it is just my opinion, and if you share my opinion or want to go against it on principle because you hate my stupid guts, then you can fill out the feedback survey that Wizards gives out a week after each UA release and let them know that I'm ready to accept their sponsorship just as soon as they're ready to make a Dabby-themed adventure module. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So, starting off with the Way of the Ascendant Dragon, this is the monk that trained alongside the ancient lizard gods and harness the power of Jake Long to become a punch master with the soul of a dragon. When you choose the Ascendant Dragon, which is a mouthful of a name, your punches gain any one of the five Draconic Elemental types, being fire, cold, lightning, poison, or acid. You learn Draconic if you hadn't already, and you can spend your reaction to reroll a failed investigation or persuasion check once per long rest. As you progress through the Year of the Dragon, you learn to breathe the elements of the dragon in either a cone or a line, but there's no specification that it has to be the same as the dragon, so you can blast out a cone of lightning like a mofo and put the dragonborn to further shame. You also manifest Draconic Wings when you perform your Step of the Wind. You become one with your Draconic Element, and protect both your allies from, as well as harm your enemies with, that element. And your final feature is a Permabuff that gives you a 30-foot blindsight, your breath attack becomes sticky and hurts people for more than one turn, and when you become one with an element, you also spontaneously EXPLODE that element, much to the dismay of your foes all around you. So, this subclass, from a first glance, looks sort of overpowered, and not just in the sense that it takes the Four Elements Monk and yeets it off into the stratosphere. The Breath Weapon Attack is crazy to think about, especially since you can do it twice without even expending a key point, and even then, it's only one key point. Plus, it has a wide-ish area of effect, and it can be one of five different damage types, so anything that resists fire can eat acid. And most importantly, it only takes up one of your attacks on a turn, so you'll throw out a bomb in place of a single punch, and then you'll still be able to run your hands up their inner thighs after they've been lightly toasted. I'd say get rid of the free uses, and it'll be fine, because then it'll feel more like a choice between Flurry of Blows and the Blow of Fury. The Step of the Wings is fun, the aspect of the worm is a little underpowered since the dragon elements don't come up super often, and you have to spend your reaction to do damage, and the Ascendant aspect is great and makes the other abilities feel even better. All around, this subclass is pretty balanced, with the Breath maybe needing a tweak down and the Aura needing a tweak up, but overall, it's a great replacement for players who want to feel a dragon in them. Moving on to the oft-forgotten Survivalist class, the new Ranger approaches the dog of the Dragon World, calls it a good boy, and thus the Drake Warden is made. By throwing your Dragon-type Pokémon at enemies, the Drake Warden gains powerful skills such as Learning Draconic and the Thaumaturgy Cantrip, as well as summoning your Pocket Monster for an amount of hours equal to your proficiency modifier, and getting a stat block for your pet Drago so that you aren't resigned to the Beastmaster's fate. And, as you travel across the land searching far and wide, you and your Drake will teach each other the power to resist your Drake's chosen element. The Drake can become either aquatic or airborne, and its bite gets more powerful. Eventually, you can both shoot fire out of your mouths, a feature that worries me with the implications of how the hell did you learn that, and your final feature comes when your Drake fully matures, becoming a large boy, dealing even more damage with its bite, and granting resistance to you as a bonus action, an ability that you can also apply to it. There must have been a dare at Wizards to go back and remake the PHB subclasses that didn't do too well, because Drake Warden is just the Beastmaster, but roided out and covered in scales. Hell, you can flavor your Pokémon to be any animal that you want, and aside from the occasional jets of fire that'll shoot out of its mouth, nobody will tell the difference. The Doggo is damaging enough, especially since it's just a bonus action to control it, and all of the features feel like a natural progression of raising your animal companion, a feeling that I largely never got from the Beastmaster. I wish there were more to talk about, because I really do love this subclass, but it it feels balanced to me, so all that's left is giving it the Dabby Chappy seal of approval. Go team. Overall, both of these subclasses are great concepts, you can never go wrong with dragons, that double as updates to the two subclasses that SHOULD have been 5e's breakout stars if only they had been balanced correctly. My only hope is that we see these in a future release, perhaps one set in the world of Dragonland. <gasps> oh. Oh, I spoke too soon. But that'll about do it! I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, check out my social media in the description below, and maybe support me on Patreon so that I can afford my own Dragonzord. But yeah, Davy out.